Hello, I am Oluwatobi Enito, welcoming you to another interesting episode of your flagship program, Telecom Weekly. The program is sponsored by the Telecom Regulator, the Nigerian Communications Commission, to educate, inform, and update you with the latest trends, issues, news, and developments in the telecom and ICT sectors in Nigeria and other parts of the world. At NCC, we strive for excellence in regulating the telecom industry in line with international standards. Once again, welcome. In this edition, NCC urges telecom consumers to defend their rights. In focus, local contents in telecoms and job creation. Also in this edition, prospect of e-learning as an antidote to the digital economy. Plus, how the Commission is enabling the startup ecosystem. As you can see, this episode of Telecom Weekly is well packaged for your enjoyment. Please, stay with us. On NCC Telecom Weekly, we bring you innovations, trends, policies and stakeholders, redefining all sectors of our economy today. Here, you'll see the actors, policy makers and creativity that will shape your mind and business for growth in line with today's reality. Join us every Friday, 5 p.m. on NTN Network and on Radio FRC and Network on Fridays, 8 p.m. NCC Connecting Nigeria. Remember the NCC toll-free number 622? The telecom regulator has dedicated this line towards addressing challenges arising from telecommunication services. According to NCC, this is part of consumers' rights as further butchers in this story. In line with his core objective of protecting the rights and interests of consumers of telecom services, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, has again urged consumers to know and defend their rights. The Commission also wants consumers to exercise their rights whenever they feel shortchanged by any of the service providers. Mr. Yabanji Ojo, Head Consumer Affairs Bureau, NCC, gave the advice while speaking with Telecom Weekly's crew in his office in Abuja. He gives insights into the rights of telecom consumers. A telecom consumer has about nine rights. The right to be heard, that is the first right of any telecom consumer. We have a platform that you must be heard. You have a right to quality of service. The service that you get as a telecom consumer must be of high quality. You have a right to fair complaint process, just like I've described in the before now. You have a right to timely and responsive customer service. The fact that you lodge a complaint does not mean that NCC will go to sleep. We are going to ensure that your complaint is treated timely. You have a right to accurate, clearly worded and itemized bill. For whatever you do in the telecom space is about billing. And that billing must be accurate, must be clear and must be clearly worded. You have a right to choose. That's why in the telecom space in Nigeria, you are not limited to just one telecom company. You may decide to go from one telecom company to the other. Even what we have done using our mobile number portability is for you to even keep your number and still move to another network. Okay? And then you have to write to safety. You have the right to be informed and finally you have a right to your privacy. The fact that you have access to someone's telephone does not mean that you should record the person. The person has a right to his privacy. The head of Consumer Affairs Bureau, who noted that the Commission encourages people to lodge their unresolved complaints, also highlighted the different ways a consumer can seek redress. You have to get in touch with your service provider in the event of having any complaint you have to talk to the service provider and that service provider is bound to respond to you however if for whatever reason the service provider could not respond to you there are other levels that you go through which we call second level agreement 
you talk to NCC because we are the regulatory body of the telecom companies in Nigeria. Also emphasizing the need for telecom consumers to take full advantage of the various complaints platforms that the NCC has made available is Mr. Ruben Morka, the Commission's Director, Public Affairs. The NCC spokesperson reiterated this in an interview during the NCC special day at the Tetefort edition of the Enugu International Trade Fair. He says the Commission is always prepared to protect consumers from unwholesome practices. More important is the CIS22, uh, which is the consumer complaints uh, platform where you can call uh, NCC on any complaint you have about your telecom service provider. But you must first call that your service provider to be sure they are unable to resolve the complaints before you call NCC. And those numbers could be called between uh, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. in the evening, but not working on public holidays and weekends. Telecom Weekly also sought to know the level of awareness among telecom consumers as it relates to the rights available to them in the telecom industry. I feel that they are doing quite a good job. First of all, let me commend them. You understand? But they need, there, there are some parts that they need to, they, they need to get better. Like our, our rights to free Harry. We are buying credit. Our credit is gone. We don't understand where it's going to. We are calling you as a service provider. And you are taking time and showing us. They have the right to like answer us. They are, they are answerable to us at any time because they are all responsible for their payments. So they, they, should, they, should, they, should, they, should, they should take us serious. One of my rights as a telecom user is the right to be heard. I know one of my rights is um, right to fair hearings and right like one of the complaints you have, like they have to look for a way and sort it out and make sure you are comfortable and okay with with the response they give to you. One thing I love about uh, what's hap happening in telecommunication is that uh, this is not a monopoly uh, feed, so we have many network. So that is why if you look at it in Nigeria today, Nigeria of today, we have MTN, we have Glow, we have Atel, and we have uh, Nine Mobile. So you can switch from one uh, network to, an, uh, to another if one is not serving you right. You can actually report them to NCC, table your complaint with them. And once this is done, there is no fast response. You can still go further to sue them legally for your right is being tampered on then for them to pay for damages. The NCC established the Consumer Affairs Bureau to serve as an interface between the consumers, service providers and the Commission. The Bureau has the mandate to protect, inform and educate consumers. With 99% of the complaints brought before the Commission sure to be treated, going by the estimation of the head Consumer Affairs Bureau, it is only appropriate that consumers make the best use of the opportunities open to them by the Consumer Bill of Rights and the slogan of the NCC Consumer Affairs Bureau, which is, take advantage of us so that no one takes advantage of you. The quest to encourage local contents in all spheres of development in the country remains on the front burner. The drive not only creates jobs, but also discourages brain drain. Our next report highlights the efforts of the telecom regulator. Nigerian Communications Commission, under the leadership of Professor Umaru Garuba Dambata, is committed to promoting indigenous content in the ICT sector. The commission is dedicated to promoting innovation and entrepreneurship in the sector. This will reduce the nation's dependence on foreign technological solutions in the sector. The Commission in this vein has established several innovation hubs and incubation centers. This will provide funding and support to technological startups. It will also lead to job creation through the development of new digital services. These are dedicated initiatives by the NCC which has led to impactful growth in the sector. We want a situation whereby um, the indigenous technologies are given chance uh, to do a lot so that uh, the telecom companies or ISPs may leverage on Nigerian um, uh, uh, softwares and uh, maybe uh, technological components uh, indigenously. NCC created the Nigeria Office for Developing Indigenous Telecom Sector, NODITS, in 2021. This was mandated by the National Policy for Indigenous Content in the Nigerian Telecommunications Sector, 
NPPIC. Nordits was created to help drive the development and patronization of indigenous content. This will be done by ensuring that all locally produced software and hardware are of international standards. This will promote growth in the sector and contribute to the nation's GDP. What we are doing is to create a framework for supporting indigenous telecommunication business in Nigeria. We also want to ensure compliance to existing regulatory guidelines on um, indigenous content. And we also want to highlight um, and promote the capacities in the telecommunications sector, indigenous aspect of it, of course. And of course, we also want to foster um, a good relationship between uh, the global OEMs and our local um, companies in Nigeria. The Nigerian Communications Commission has a dedicated research and development department, R&D. The purpose of the creation of this department is to encourage effective research and development in the ICT sector. This will help the Commission attain one of the goals of the Nigerian Communications Act 2003. The creation of the R&D department has supported the Commission's management in driving the digital agenda of the federal government. The Vera government has released the National Digital Economy Policy and Strategy. NDEPS 2020 to 2030, which aims to leverage the potential of digital technologies to drive economic growth and create new opportunities for businesses and individuals. NCC is determined to harness the potential in the ICT sector by supporting cutting-edge research and promoting indigenous growth using the vehicle of R&D and Nordic. To demonstrate its commitment, the Commission awarded a 20 million Naira grant to four Nigerian tech startups. This was to boost local content development in both software and hardware. Innovators and beneficiaries of NCC Indigenous Solutions say the Commission has been very supportive and encouraging in promoting local capacities and ideas. Some of the emerging technologies, research and ICT innovators speak on their solutions and the efforts of the NCC to promote startup development and to boost locally developed solutions that address the specific needs of organizations. Um, it's a solution that we have built practically to solve two problems. Unemployment amongst the young population of Nigeria, which is currently at 42.5%, and underemployment, which is their inability to function with the adequate skills required whenever they are given jobs. A solution has to do with combating maternal and infant mortality in Nigeria. In fact, uh, Nigeria is a, is a major contributor to maternal and infant mortality in the world. Currently, Nigeria is the second largest contributor. So that's just to show you how big this problem really is. So what we've done at Nate Healthcare is that we've developed a comprehensive, innovative solution to solve this major problem. So uh, first of all, our, our solution has to do with eradicating uh, lack of information for pregnant women in the South communities, then also creating an environment where mothers will be able to present their children for proper immunization. With our platform, we can be able to know when the magnitude of the, of the, of the, of the flood, where, when it's going to be affected, is it affect the particular community, the extent, for example, and what you can be able to do about it, for example. You can be able to pre-plan before it happens, or maybe when, it is, when you're caught, when it's happening, for example, you can be able to reach out to emergency response and link it to the government, and after it must have happened, our platform is paving way for a new set of insurance, the disaster insurance we don't, we don't have in Nigeria, for example. So rather than investing in disaster recovery always, it's a huge amount of money, why don't we invest in disaster preparedness and resiliency? You can always be a part of this program by joining us via our multiple social media platforms. For inquiries on this program, you can send a mail to telecomweekly at ncc.gov.ng. For further details about the activities of the Commission, visit www.ncc.gov.ng.
We are glad that you are still with us on our program, Telecom Weekly, sponsored by NCC. With the world now a global village made possible by technology, e-learning remains part of the benefits. Our next story tells us about how NCC is contributing to this drive. Access to quality education is central in achieving all 17 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for ending extreme poverty. Education is important to the long-term growth, economic stability and development of any country. Children also have the right to basic quality education. The COVID-19 pandemic changed global dynamics in the education sector, bringing about increased online and otherwise e-learning where learners could learn anywhere at their own convenience and pace in a flexible setting. One significant achievement of the NCC under Professor Umar Gariba Dambata is the increase in broadband penetration in Nigeria. The increase in broadband penetration impacts the country's economy as it has led to growth and delivery of digital services and the creation of job opportunities. And in Nigeria, we have two, three initiatives. One is targeted at tertiary institutions where we conduct the Advanced Digital Appreciation Program. This is intended to um, strengthen the way lecturers, you know, deliver content to their students, imparting the same skills to the students, you know, when they eventually graduate, thereby, you know, having in place, if you like, a chain of, you know, if you like value, you know, adding value to the way, you know, students, you know, also discharge, you know, duties when eventually, you know, they are employed. The second one is the digital awareness program where the NCC provides equipment, ICT equipment, to schools and colleges in order to, you know, train those young people on the various skills, you know, that is uh, needed in order to appreciate how they can participate in the, you know, digital revolution that is taking place. The final one uh, is a program targeting the students where we build what we call uh, knowledge centers outside the universities and schools for private students, you know, to go and you know acquire the skills that we're talking about that will make them useful uh, as students as well as be able to access the internet and you know do other things that are necessary but that will require knowledge of your uh, you know uh, digital knowledge in order to do those things with the increasing spread of technology e-learning is now an inevitable evolution of the education ecosystem in Nigeria, some industry observers express the belief that the 70% broadband penetration target of the federal government by the year 2025 will further make digital services and e-learning grow. Some educationists told Telecom Weekly how improved broadband deployment will push innovation and research to new heights. We will, we will be um, having access to internet for research, for innovation, you will, we have an innovation hub, but now it will be fully equipped with internet, so there will not be a break in the access to internet. And then we will also have a registry, e-registry, whereby students we are going to reduce face-to-face -face contact with um, staff and students. Professor Ayo Motayo is the Director General of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, NIPSS. He speaks on how the availability of broadband will improve the training programs in his institution. For the nature of the training we give at uh, the engagements we have at Kuro, you certainly must do a lot of in person. They must come in person. But however, we found that a few of the resource persons that we need to bring in sometimes are unable to come. Some people are afraid of the security situation in Jaws. So they rather would prefer to do um, virtual. Now, with this supply of the bandwidth, we certainly will have a fantastic uh, reception in our uh, institute for those who talk to us from abroad and for those who are unable to come to JOS to give their um, engagements uh, physically. So like I said, it's a game changer for us and we believe that um, it's going to make the institute function better. Dr. Michael Amrimawa, Director, Federal Polytechnic Nekede Imo State, speaks on digitizing the school system and quality of education 
in general. There is a lot of impact that ICT can make. Uh, we are told that 50 million jobs worldwide are untaken every year and those jobs are in ICT. So if we have more, more of our youths get involved with ICT, um, they will come out, not just be job seekers, but they will be job creators and uh, we will drastically reduce our unemployment rates. With mobile devices transforming how people access and interact with content, e-learning takes education to the student, making it possible for them to make choices in selecting lesson models. Given the continuous growth of broadband deployment with falling prices, observers of the opinion that e-services and particularly online learning will grow despite the challenges that the telecom industry currently faces. One of the prerequisites needed for effective startups in the technology ecosystem is telecommunications. How has the telecom regulator NCC contributed positively to this quest? Industry statistics show that the telecommunications sector has positively impacted the economy of the country since the opening of the sector in 2021. Presently, this technology enables individuals to conceptualize ideas and develop products and services that stimulate innovation while creating investment opportunities that includes that include the startup ecosystem. A startup ecosystem is formed when persons and organizations in a location, whether physical or virtual, network as a system to create and scale new businesses. This includes suppliers, distributors, consumers, and competitors. There are many benefits of startups, including that they generate more employment than established businesses, which goes a long way to growing the local economy. As the agency of government responsible for driving the nation's digital space, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, has been at the forefront of promoting the pool of investors working together to create an environment for startups to thrive. To engender digital transformation that impacts social economic development, the Commission regularly empowers young entrepreneurs towards deepening the startup ecosystem. Here, engineer Austin Nwanule, Director of Digital Economy, NCC, speaks on the Commission's objective for empowering young entrepreneurs. The outcome of this uh, partnership is going to be training and skills development. Micro, small and medium enterprises, as a matter of fact, they are able to learn the digital skills and they are able to learn how to transfer their businesses from the uh, analog world onto the digital space. The scope is that we will keep doing this on an annual basis and it's actually quarterly training. Uh, every quarter we train at least a hundred uh, MSMEs, different MSMEs for that matter. Small businesses in Nigeria and across uh, Africa and the, and the globe have opportunity of uh, having digital learning to power their business. So the ultimate thing is to make sure that small businesses have skills to power their business at the comfort of their, of their homes to make sure that they are able to create jobs, create wealth, alleviate poverty and ensure food security for everyone in Nigeria. Beneficiaries of the empowerment speak on the initiative. You know, NCC powers um, the digital economy of Nigeria. So I'm excited that NCC is going around and looking for where such digital economies exist and giving them the support. So we're so proud of what NCC is doing. We look forward to the partnership into the future to develop Nigeria's digital uh, and um, economic diversification. With these courses that we are taking now, I'm sure with what I have taken now, I have more knowledge and skills on how to use my capital in my business. I'm looking forward to enlarging my business, my marketing strategy, because that's what I actually focused on, my marketing strategies and how to make more sales in my business. And I know that this training is really going to help me. However, the role of the NCC in promoting of Nigerian's startup ecosystem goes beyond the empowerment of young people interested in business startups. This is where the provision of accessible digital and critical infrastructures and services come to play. Telecom Weekly went on the streets of Abuja to fill the purse of Nigerians on their understanding of the startup ecosystem and their views about the Commission's effort in this regard. Everybody is enjoying internet, both drivers, Uber and everybody, and dispatch rider. We are all using internet and we are enjoying it. 
in terms of in terms of browsing and let customers get to you. Yes, it's, we're enjoying it. You know, without the um, the performance of NCC, I don't think we can get to that level because uh, they are the larger body that control anything communication in Nigeria. This is the much we can take on this week's episode of Telecom Weekly. Before we go, don't forget you can always be a part of this program by joining us via our multiple social media platforms. For inquiries on this program, you can send a mail to telecomweekly at ncc.gov.ng. For further details on the activities of the Commission, visit www.ncc.gov.ng. Telecom Weekly is brought to you by the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. NCC, keeping telecom consumers well informed and satisfied. Until we come your way again next week, I am Uluwatobi Eneza, saying bye for now.